In today's lesson, you will learn more English from the American TV show Rick and Morty. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English using real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today you will learn more English to help you understand the TV show Rick and Morty. Let's get started with the vocabulary from the short video. First, the title. The episode titles of this show are parodies of TV shows, movies, and other pop cultural things. A parody is some work of art. For example, something written, a song, or a video that imitates something else in a funny way. The title of the episode I'm going to teach you about this time is Anatomy Park. This is a parody of the movie Jurassic Park. Anatomy Park is supposed to be an amusement park built inside a person's body. The first line from this one is Rick saying, okay, all right, if I sounded a little defensive, it's because Pirates of the Pancreas was my baby. The word defensive comes from the word defend, which means to protect. To feel defensive is to respond to someone in a certain way because you think they are criticizing you. What you didn't see in the, sh in the short video, but is in the full episode, is that Marty has just walked into Anatomy Park and said, oh my god, this is insane. Then he names a couple of other rides or attractions he sees and says, Pirates of the Pancreas? Then Rick says, you have a problem with that last one, Marty? And Marty says he was just reading them out loud as he sees the signs. That's when Rick responds with, if I sounded a little defensive, because when he said, you have a problem with that last one, Marty? He did sound a little defensive. If you can watch the whole episode, it will make a lot more sense. Pirates of the Pancreas is a parody of the Disney attraction or ride called Pirates of the Caribbean or and also there's movies with the same name, although some people will pronounce it as Caribbean instead of Caribbean. You can do whichever you want. The pancreas is the part of our bodies that releases insulin and is related to digestion and diabetes. My baby. By this, Rick means it is something he created that is very special to him. It means a lot to him. He's proud of it and doesn't like it if someone says something bad about it. The next line from Rick is, I, I got a lot of pushback when I pitched it, Marty. I guess I'm still a little defensive. Let's just find Dr. Bloom, all right? I, I'm picking up a distress signal in the liver, Marty. Rick stutters a couple of times here at the beginning with I, I, and later with I, I'm. Pushback. This word can be spelled either with or without the hyphen. And this sentence is being used as a noun and means opposition or resistance to something. Or in simpler English, to not like something and an attempt to stop it. Pushback is also a phrasal verb, meaning to oppose or resist something or to try to stop it. And it can also mean to change the date of something to a later date, as in, I may have to push back the day I had planned to put this video on YouTube because I am very late with finishing it. Pitched it. To pitch something is to talk to someone to get them to do something you want them to do. Is often used as in a sales pitch. For example, I am planning to make an online course teaching the English used in Rick and Morty. If I started talking to you about how great of a course it is and how much it will help you and tell you about how you can sign up for it, that would be a sales pitch. Pitch can also mean to throw or to like get rid of or dispose of something. Or in music, how high or low a sound is, not the loudness or the volume. It can mean something to say like high or low, that type of high and low. It can also mean a few other things, but those are the main meanings that you will hear. In this sentence, I got a lot of pushback when I pitched it, Marty. He is saying that when he tried to convince people that Pirates of the Pancreas was a good idea, 
that they didn't like it. We don't really know who they are because they don't tell us that. But maybe they are some sort of investors because earlier Rick says Anatomy Park is a, is a business venture. Of course, it's all just silly anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Picking up a distress signal. So Rick says, I'm picking up a distress signal in the river, Morty. Pick up is a phrasal verb with a few different meanings. In this sentence, it means to be aware of or to detect something. A distress signal is a signal or message that there is a problem. So he is saying that he has found out or knows that there is a distress signal coming from the liver. Also notice that he doesn't say picking up. He says more like picking up which is an example in English of reduced speech. Pick up can also mean to improve, like the sales of my English course picked up after I made more videos for YouTube, or to learn something quickly. He picked up English very quickly after watching American TV shows, or to like to get or collect, like I need to pick up my daughter from school soon. Also, it can mean like to receive some type of electronic broadcast. Uh, which is what how it's used in in this episode. Related is the term pickup line, which is something one person might say to another if they are interested in them in a romantic way. For example, if they want to ask someone out on a date, it is a way to start a conversation with the other person. Usually, it is men using pickup lines with women, and that can be spelled with or without a space and with or without the hyphen in it. Next, he says, proceed to deliver. To proceed means to continue or keep doing something. In this case, to move towards deliver. Then you hear a recording that says, mind the gap. Now, this is a warning to be careful when getting on or off of a train because usually there is a gap or like a space between the ground people are standing on and the train. It's there to remind people to be careful. Next, Rick says, Liver is under maintenance. Ruben's seen some rough years, Marty. Now, when he said livers, livers under maintenance, that's a contraction of the apostrophe S. It's a contraction for liver is. The full sentence would be the liver is under maintenance. But, of course, people don't always talk in full sentences. For something to be under maintenance means something is being repaired because it's broke or being improved to make it better. Now, Reuben is a name. That's a person's body that they are in, whose body that they built an amusement park in. In this case, they say Reuben's, again, with an apostrophe S, and this is a contraction for Reuben has. Rough years means difficult times. In other words, his life has been difficult for many years. I think Reuben is supposed to be an alcoholic, and that is why his liver has problems. In pop culture, for some reason, there is this idea that people who take jobs being Santa Claus at malls and other places are people who have a lot of problems in their life, maybe a drinking problem. That theme is in a lot of TV shows and movies. Now, the next line, this is my, my favorite from the show. Rick says, you don't agree to have a theme park built inside you if your life's going great. Now, one of the things when he says this, he doesn't say inside you. He says it more like inside you, inside you. That is an example of connected speech in English where the sometimes some of the letters change their sound a little bit. So instead of sounding like inside you, it sounds like inside you. He says, if your life's going great, in this case, this is, again, life's with an apostrophe S, and it's a contraction for life is. And then he says, going great, except he doesn't, if you listen, he doesn't actually say going great. He says, going great, which is, again, another example of reduced speech in English. Then Rick says, the only monster here is alcoholism. That is an animatronic werewolf. Now, when he says alcoholism, he burps or belches in the middle of it. Burp and belch mean the same thing. It may be a little harder for you to understand what he says when he burps in the middle of it. 
And animatronic is a sort of simple robot that moves a little bit. They're used a lot in theme parks, amusement parks, those types of things. That's all for today's lesson, but don't leave yet. In a few seconds, you will see the link to watch the short video from Rick and Morty and also to get a list of the vocabulary words and other notes from the lesson. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.